Yes, uh, sir. I'm calling from Shakhupura. My name is On Hussain. Oh, uh, what's from up, Pakistan, Shakhupura. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I wanted to touch a little bit upon your topic that uh, that is jihad and terrorism. Uh, I think uh, the militancy and the terrorism of that we see uh, in in our today's age in in, in present time. The whole world uh, really knows how bad it is and how barbaric it is. But yeah. I think we should uh, take a look at and we should uh, try to examine and expose the original terrorist that uh, set this presidents for the these fundamentalists, these uh, Salafis or Wahhabis that follow in those original terrorists. Footsteps. I tell you who revived them. Okay, there is a historical because throughout history. Uh, religious teachings have been distorted and misappropriated towards other pernicious ends. That's not no question about it. But in the modern era, the person who revived religious violence and armed struggle, he, he was Khomeini, no other than Khomeini, don't go far away. He He's the father of all terrorists. In the modern era, the wave of Islamic violence that you see throughout the world and now turn again, for many decades turn against Shia, it was initiated by Khomeini. It was Khomeini's followers before the revolution who were carrying out acts of terrorism, terrorism inside Iran. If you read the art, there's many articles about Cinema Rex and Abadan. How did Cinema Rex burn down and about 400 to 600 people were burnt alive? How the order came from Khomeini's house to uh, to do that and the f f in the modern era, the first uh, suicide bombings, they were carried out by Shias. High plane, uh, um, um, airplane hijackings, they were carried out by Shias. They were carried out also by secular, hijacking was carried out by secular groups, but amongst the religious groups, it was oh, the Shias who carried them first, uh, followers of Khomeini. So, and uh, really the, the idea of establishing uh, uh, Islamic Khilafah, for the purpose of which people do jihad, was dormant, was really given up in the Omri world. It was revived by Khomeini. Khomeini established Wilayat al-Faqih in Iran, which is a form of Khilafah. And in response to that, all the other Islamic movements, which were dead, they come back to life. And they thought if Khomeini can do, then we can do it also in our countries. And, uh, and many countries, foreign countries, Western countries, and especially Saudi Arabia, uh, the Gulf of States, they invested in these movements as a counterbalance to Khomeini's leadership, to Khomeini's influence in Shia world and the Muslim world, just to defy uh, Khomeini. So, please, uh, yeah, there's historical precedence for this, but yeah. in the current era, it is the Shias to blame. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, uh, yes, uh, we, we, uh, we can, uh, uh, of course, infer that that the new wave terrorism in the 80s and in the 90s that was a response to the uh, islamic in inglob in iran that that is a reality i accept that but the terrorism that is uh, most well known you could say and that mm -hmm. and that is wahhabi selfie terrorism that was mm -hmm. you know sort of in a way uh, introduced and brought back by uh, uh, muhammad bin abdul wahhab when he purged the arabian peninsula uh, by calling all the Arabs there who were Sufis and who were, uh, you know, generally Hanfis, uh, calling them uh, Mushrik and slaughtering them. I think uh, that presidents comes from, comes from the original caliphs, from uh, Abu Bakr and Umar, of how they, you know, they also targeted their enemies by calling them, uh, by calling them Murtas, by calling them non-Muslims and attacking no, them. There's long history. Everybody has done it. Christians have done it. Christians... When the yeah. Crusades were happening, Crusades, they were plunderers who were coming in the Middle East, even throughout Europe. The Crusaders in the 11th century and 12th century, many of them, they were plundering Christian Christian people. But their, their slogan was to liberate the Holy Lands, Jerusalem from Muslims, from Arabs. So it has happened always, absolutely, throughout Islam also, from the time of Abu Bakr's Khilafah till today. Violence in the name of religion, uh, shedding innocent blood in the name of religion. That has, has been always hallmark of human history. Thank you so much. May God bless you, Owen. Thank you.